Have you ever wondered what options you have to control our devices? Well, you don't have to struggle with that question anymore because in this video I will explain you the many control options and many control modes that you can operate our devices in. With LED strip Studio Pixel controllers you get several options of how to control your device. Besides standards such as DMX or ArtNet, which are widely popular and used all around the world, you can count on two hardware buttons that are located on the front panel of our device. Also there you can find a dip switch. These both serve to switch between the animations stored on SD card. Also available is a Ethernet mode and a standalone mode. Now, before we begin to go through the list of all the modes that you can operate our device in, it's good to know a bit about the hardware that you are using. Today we will be working again with our most popular controller and then most advanced yet, which we call LEDS3. Now LEDS stands for LED Ethernet Controller and 3 stands for number 3. Besides cool design, this little red box is full of connectors, which makes it an all-in-one controller. On the front panel itself, you got uh, two Ethernet ports, which serves to connect uh, the device to your PC and also to our LED Trip Studio software. We also use it to daisy chain more devices together. Available are two XLR ports for DMX in and DMX out. On the front panel you can find two hardware buttons that helps you to switch between the animations, a dip switch which sets up a current IP address and also a DMX address of your device. Here down you can find a slot for SD card where you have stored effects created in our LED Strip Studio software. Uh, a handful of diodes on the front panel gives you a current status of the device. First one shines red in case your device is connected to the PC and to our LED Strip Studio software. Second diode flashes rapidly in yellow in case that any DMX signal is flowing into the device. And it flashes more slowly in case ArtNet signal is flowing in. Last diode shines green in case your device got power. This little diode here shines white in case the two XLR ports are in a DMX through mode. On the back panel you can find four LED diodes above each of four SPI outputs and it flashes rapidly in case any data is being sent into any of the four SPI outputs. Before I will start to explain the different modes that you can operate our devices in, it's important to mention that these modes works in a priority order. A test mode, for example, has higher priority than a turn mode or a autoplay mode, because you don't want your device to start to play animations right in the moment when you are trying to test if you set up everything correctly in either our software or in our web configuration tool. So, in the priority order, the modes available are test mode, a turn mode, artnet mode, DMX mode and autoplay mode. 